Okay, so explain to me one more time. Why have you brought me here? Ellen, there's a dead body here! Just give me a minute. <gasps> the murder. Yes. Speak up, man! Don't have all day! Ella? We have a job to do. Did you change your hair? You should change it back. Wait, so how did you get inside my house? That's not important. What's important is getting to the bottom of this murder. I don't have time for this. Can you not just talk to one of my staff? Oh, trust me. We did. You think being a maid is hard? Try being a single mother. Tell me about it. So, can you tell me a bit more about your little accomplices? I mean, children. The triplets are the light of my life. I love each Hello. Of Please, Mrs. Talley, put up the corn around the children. Hugh, where were you at the time of murder? I had just gone back to my room on the fourth floor. Fourth floor? So you live in the attic? It's more comfortable than you think, and it's harder to feel lonely with all the rats and spiders to keep me company. Hugh, let me be frank with you. And let me be Patricia. You should never like me. Or his associate. Well, I, I used to have a nicer room with a balcony overlooking the bins, but once Gil joined the family, that room turns into his mojo dojo casa house whenever he visits. Gil? My boyfriend Gil? He wouldn't hurt a fly. We'll be the judge of that. Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Do you mind repeating what you just said? Plan is to woo Roo. We'll think things through, review what she knew, what is true, feel blue, boo hoo, and say yes to you know who. Yeah, you might want to run that bias again one more time. The plan is to woo Roo, we'll think things through, view what she knew, what is true, feel blue, boo hoo, and say yes to you know who. That was my bad. I completely zoned out. Um, why don't we take a deep breath and try it one more time? The plan is to woo Roo, who will. You know what? Screw you! Speaking of useless, I had a talk with her grandfather. Those are two hours of my life that I'll never get back. You've been expecting me. Well, we did go on a few tangents, one on which Mr. Solomon managed to offend women, children, most minorities, vegans, celiacs, and anyone with an intolerance to gluten or dairy. I can't believe I'm missing sex in the city for this. Stop talking about that stupid show! What show? Everyone except the LGBTQ community who he has a lot of time and respect for. I just asked you if you wanted water before we started. Oh, let me tell you that. Yeah! How long have you been married? 28 years. Can you think of anyone specific who could have heard of your husband? Yes. And what is your skincare routine? You are absolutely glowing. Well, I use this exfoliating cream. Wait, what does this have to do with anything? Your husband know that you've been cheating on him and have been for the past 15 years, give or take a few months. I loved Rupert, but he was always so busy. He never found a time to sweep me off my feet or take me dancing like he used to. And even our daughter didn't like him. And that brings us back to you. This is an outrage. I didn't hurt my father. I love my father. I like my father. He was my father. You have to believe me. I didn't do it. Like we said, we'll be the judge. I'm so sorry, Mr. Solomon. It clearly wasn't you. You know, why, why don't you just leave? Like, it's absolutely fine. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Okay. What the hell was that? She could have been lying. Hey, Ella. That's what they want you to think. Who is they? <laughs>